Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to uninstall Crossover from the Mac operating system. So if you don't know what Crossover is, it is a method of running Windows games and applications on the Mac OS operating system. And it might come the day where you actually don't want to have this anymore. We want to uninstall it. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. If you haven't subscribed already, then please consider scrolling down and pressing the subscribe button. This will help you keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. It only takes a moment, but it really helps to support the channel and the work that I do. So the main thing is that we shut down Crossover first and that we make sure we quit out completely. Then what we're gonna do is to go to Finder and we're gonna to go to the Go button here and then we're gonna hold the Option key and that's gonna reveal this Library button. So I'm gonna click on this now and now we have the Library section in our Finder. So what we're gonna do is to remove the backend parts of Crossover so that it's fully uninstalled. So we're gonna double click on Application Support and then we're gonna to scroll to Crossover. And this is where all of the bottle and configuration settings are all kept. If you wanted to make a backup of one of your bottles, this would be the time to do it. You can move this whole bottle or individual bottles out of here and then make a backup of this before we go ahead and delete it. However, today we're gonna to control click on crossover and then move the entire thing to the bin. The next thing I'm gonna do, and we're gonna to go to the go button here and then we're gonna hold the option key and that's gonna reveal this library button. So I'm gonna click on this now and then we're gonna to go to the preferences folder here. So we're gonna preference this section here and double click and then I'm going to sort by name and then we're gonna locate crossover. So the relevant files are here, all of the com.codeweavers.crossover files. I'm gonna go ahead and delete them here. So I'm gonna control click and then move to bin. And then the final step is to go to the applications folder. Then we go to our crossover application. Then what we're gonna do is to control click and then move this to bin. And basically once all these files are in your bin, you can control click on the bin and click empty bin. And those will be permanently deleted from your computer. So if you just want to perform a reset of your preference settings, you don't have to go ahead and delete Crossover. If you run Crossover now, it will be as if you're running a new copy of Crossover from scratch. So you don't have to do that step. However, here we're going to control click and then move this file to the bin and that will uninstall Crossover fully. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac gaming tutorials and Windows gaming tutorials for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac on my YouTube channel. So please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.